Shikari Richardson brought home, as we know, gold and silver medals from Paris. And tonight, she had the high school track she trained on named in her honor officially. J.D. Miles, live from Kincaid Stadium. Where With the seemingly never-ending critics she has, many would say that Shikari Richardson does not deserve the honor. Her fans, and hometown, obviously, know that it is only fitting for her to receive the recognition. Come back, I've ran on this track. I can say I've started my career on this track. So for it to be named after me now. You may recall that in October last year, it was announced that the track at Jesse Owens Athletic Complex's John Kincaid Stadium in Dallas would be named after Shakari Richardson. It was confirmed after the Dallas Independent School District Board of Trustees voted unanimously to have the track field named after Shakari two months after she won the 2023 World Championships. It is a befitting honor for the fast rising track star who honed her sprinting talent in Dallas. She was an eight time state champion at Carter High School, which is very close to the stadium. The American moved on to Louisiana State University, where she set a new 100 meter collegiate record of 10.75. In an ex post, she wrote, this means so much. If you're from the city, you know the stadium is rooted in memories. I'm literally speechless. Lauren Cross, Richardson's former high school track coach at Carter High School in Oak Cliff, said, It's great news. Actually, I think it's well deserved. Shakari has had the opportunity to run on that track since she was nine years old. Cross shared that Richardson was both excited and shocked at the news. She couldn't believe that they would rename a track after her, and I explained to her, it's definitely earned, Cross said. Cross further said that the track has a special meaning for Richardson since she has run on it since she was young. You put in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears on that track. You live five minutes from the track, and you've run on it since you were a youth, Cross recalled telling her. Now, almost a year later, Shakari Richardson returned to her home track for the first time as a two-time Olympic medalist to officially unveil the track named after her at the Dallas ISD's Kincaid Stadium. She officially unveiled the stadium's Shakari Richardson track signage during a football game. It also includes a plaque with a quote from her. I'm doing it for everyone who looks like me. It's official. The Dallas ISDX account posted along with pictures of Shakari posing in front of the signage. This is where I come from, Richardson said. Thank you for supporting me, no matter how far I go. It goes without saying that Richardson is an inspiration to many in her native town and beyond. Shakari, you have often said your grandmother, she's your superwoman. Dallas ISD says thank you for being all of our superwoman, said Dallas ISD Superintendent Stephanie S. Elizalda. During her speech at the event, Richardson expressed deep gratitude for the overwhelming support she has received from the Dallas community. Reflecting on her career beginnings in the city, she acknowledged the impact Dallas has had on her journey to international success. I thank you all for all the support, and I'm proud to have come out of ISD, she began. I'm proud to have come back, and I must say, I started my career on this track. To have a track named after me is a huge honor, but it also means I have a responsibility to Dallas. I will never ever let people forget where I came from, and that's Dallas. She continued by highlighting the significance of the honor and how it symbolizes her personal growth. That's why I would say reflecting on my time competing on this track has literally shown the growth of my journey from where I started to where I'm going. It has shown that where you start is not where you finish, but it's just about how you apply where you wanna go. And I'm honored, she added, and I will never, ever, ever let people forget where I come from, and that's Dallas, and that's where I get my heart, that's where I get my man. That's where I get my joy from as well, she added. So, this is the Shakari Richardson track. Oh, thank you. I'm turning around. It's turning The symbolic gesture pays tribute, not only to Richardson's athletic accomplishments, but also to the resilience and determination that have made her an inspiration for many, particularly young black women and girls. Now, her name will forever be tied to the track where her rise to greatness began, serving as a visible reminder to the city's next generation of athletes. Kincaid Stadium, located in the heart of Dallas, is where Richardson first gained notoriety as a standout sprinter during her high school years. 
The stadium was home to some of her most memorable performances, putting her on a path to what would become an illustrious career. But it's not just about the medals and records. Shakari Richardson's grit, unapologetic spirit, and sheer speed have left an indelible mark on both the sport and the cultural landscape. Even with her international acclaim, this homecoming in Dallas proves that her roots remain as important as ever. For every young runner stepping onto the newly christened Shakari Richardson track, there will be a reminder that greatness can come from anywhere. And with enough dedication, anyone can follow in Richardson's fast footsteps. Richardson's story resonates deeply, especially with black women and girls who are too often overlooked despite their talents and achievements. As the world continues to witness her accomplishments on the track, it's only fitting that Dallas, the city where it all began, acknowledges her lasting impact. Okay, so I thank you, Dallas, and I appreciate and I love the Shakari's 2024 journey had not been as smooth sailing as she would have liked, though. She arrived at Paris 2024 as the 100-meter world champion and favorite for gold. However, she fell short of winning double gold at Paris 2024 after being shocked by St. Lucia's Julian Alfred. The 24-year-old Dallas native instead had to settle for silver, although she still ended up winning gold in the women's four by 100-meter relay. Alfred and Richardson met again on the track shortly after the games. The American world champion gained some revenge for her Olympic defeat by St. Lucia's Julian Alfred with victory in the women's 100-meter final at the Diamond League meeting in Zurich. Richardson took victory in Switzerland in a strong field, winning in 10.84 seconds. Britain's Dina Asher-Smith, who failed to reach that Olympic final, finished third, while compatriot Daryl Nida came seventh. This is probably the funnest race I've had all season, Richardson said. I took that time after the games to come back, regroup, and be able to show you guys the Shakari Richardson y'all know, clocking in at 10.84 seconds on the wet track in Zurich. Her time was just four hundredths ahead of Alfred, who took second in the race. From there, Shakari planned to race in the women's 100 meter and 200 meter at her third Diamond League final, attempting the sprint double to end the season on a high. When it was time, her slow start proved to be detrimental yet again. Trailing behind, there wasn't much she could do. By the end of the race, Hagawi, Shakari had to settle for an eighth place finish with 11.23 seconds on the clock. She did not end up racing in the 200 meter the next day. Despite many expressing their disappointment with Shakari's performances in various races throughout the season, some are adamant that she could do more. Gail Devers, a three-time Olympic gold medalist for one, is optimistic about what Shakari is capable of. I'm always impressed with her. Everybody has a story, and her story is one of resilience. When the chips are down, she finds a way to come back, Devers said. Jackie Joyner Kersey, too, is reveling in the new era of women's athletics, highlighted by American sprint superstar Shakari Richardson. Shakari takes it to a whole other level. Joyner Kersey was noted saying in an exclusive interview. The three-time Olympic champion said that it's Richardson who reminds her the most of her late sister-in-law, the great Florence Joyner Griffith. You know exactly where Shakari is coming from, and you know exactly who you're dealing with, Joyner Kersey said in the interview. And then she gets out there and backs it up with her performance. It's easy to see that people have varying opinions about Shakari Richardson, but do they also have differing thoughts about this athlete?